家好，我叫田爽婷，欢迎来到我的汉字课堂。Hello everyone, my name is Shuang Ting, and welcome to my Chinese character class. Today we will learn ten Chinese characters through the evolution of ancient and modern Chinese characters. Before we start, you need to know some necessary information about our class. First. These ten characters we will learn today are all pictographics. That is the most primitive way of making characters. Second, each character is written in order of oracle bone inscriptions. In Chinese, we say jia gu wen, inscriptions on ancient bronze objects. Jin wen, seal act characters. Zhuan wen, official script, li shu, and regular script, kai shu. If some fonts are missing, there is no corresponding font. Part three. We have three parts for today's lesson. Part one, learn the character, 学汉字 and part two, we will play a game to review the characters. Part three, we will get to know some words which are made up of these ten characters. So let's start. Part one. Learn the character. 学汉字 Let's learn the first character. 人人 You can see a man standing with the with his arms outstretched. So the ancient character 人 resembles a person standing sideways. The modern character 人 has no arms, but the lower part. Looks like the two legs of the person. Let's see how to write. Ren has two strokes. The first stroke, xie. The second stroke, na. Ren. Let's learn the second character, nu. You can see a girl kneeling on the ground. The ancient character 女 looks like a woman kneeling on the ground. Even though the regular script changed, but we can still see a little bit of female shape in the modern character 女 Let's learn how to write. 女 has three strokes. The first stroke. 撇点 the second stroke, 撇 the third stroke, 横女 Let's learn the third character, 子 You can see a baby wrapped in clothes. The Asian character, 子 looks like a baby in swaddling clothes. Just his head and his two hands. Zi. So its original meaning is child. Let's see how to write. Zi has three strokes. The first one is heng gao. The second stroke is shu gao. The third stroke is heng. Zi. Let's learn the fourth character. 口 It's quite easy to guess the meaning of 口 The ancient Chinese character 口 resembles the open mouth. It's quite vivid. Let's learn how to write 口 口 has three strokes. The first stroke is 竖 The second stroke is 横折 The third stroke is 横口 Let's learn the fifth character 耳耳 It's also quite easy to guess what's the meaning of 耳 ear 耳 The ancient Chinese character 耳 resembles the left ear. Let's learn how to write 耳 Has six strokes. The first stroke is 横 The second stroke is 竖 
The third stroke is shu. The fourth stroke is hang. The fifth one is hang, and the sixth one is hang. R. Let's learn the sixth character. Shen, shen. You can see a pregnant woman on slide. In ancient times, the character shen resembles the appearance of pregnant woman. Shen, its original meaning is pregnant, then extended to refer to the whole body of people or animals. Shen, let's learn how to write. Shen has seven strokes. The first stroke, xie. The second stroke, shu. The third stroke, heng zhe go. The fourth stroke, heng. The fifth one, heng. The sixth one, heng. And the last one is pie. Shen. Let's learn the seventh character, mu. Mu. It's quite too easy to guess what's the meaning of mu. In ancient times, the character mu resembles human eyes. Let's learn how to write. Mu has five strokes. The first stroke, shu. The second stroke, heng zhe. The third stroke, heng. The fourth stroke, heng. The fifth stroke, heng. Mu. Let's learn the eighth character. In ancient times, the character Mei resembles the shape of eyebrows on the eye. Even the regular script, it has two parts. The lower part represents Mu, its meaning is eye. And the upper part represents where the eyebrows are. Mei. Let's learn how to write Mei. Mei has nine strokes. The first stroke, Heng Go. The second stroke, Shu. The third stroke, Heng. The fourth stroke, Pie. The fifth stroke, Shu. The sixth stroke, Heng Zhe. The seventh, Heng. The eighth, Heng. And the last stroke is Heng, Mei. Mei is a combined Chinese character. It is consists of two parts. So we should write the outer part. Then we write the inner part. Let's learn the ninth character, Xin. It's very easy to guess the meaning, Xin. The Asian Chinese character, Xin, resembles the heart. Let's learn how to write. Xin. The first stroke, dian. The second stroke, xie go. The third stroke, dian. And the fourth stroke, dian. Xin. Xin. Let's learn the tenth character, shao. Shao. The ancient character shao looks like a hand. With arm and five fingers. Shao. Let's learn how to write. The first stroke is pie. The second stroke, heng. The third stroke, heng. And the last stroke is shu, go. Shao. Part two. Let's choose the character. You will look, you will have some Oracle Bone scripts and look at the Oracle Bone scripts and choose the modern character. So which one it is? Yes. Xin, Xin, heart. Yes. 子, 子, child. Yes. May, may, eyebrows. New, 
Yes, 女 female, woman. R, yes, R, ear. Part three. Let's read the words. 认读词语 Try your best. 人口，人口，女人，女人，手心，手心，眉心，眉心。So much for today's class. And we also have ten.、Uh, we also have today's today's characters copybook. If you need it and to practice writing, you can you can leave your comments or you send your message to us. We will reply to you as soon as possible. And、uh, what's more, we will introduce more、uh, interesting videos of teaching of Chinese teaching Chinese character teaching. And if you like our video, please su subscribe our channel. And and recommend to your friends. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye. 再见。